What's up guys, this is Tampa Tech. I'm gonna show you how I fix my AC unit with very little experience, and you can do it too. If your AC unit is broken and this video helps you out, give me a big thumbs up and click on the share button below and share this video to anyone this video will help. I woke up one morning and the house felt really hot and the thermostat's not working. So I decided to check the AC air filter and see if it was clogged. It looked okay, probably has to be changed out in a couple weeks. So I went outside and decided to drain the AC line. Sometimes it gets clogged and causes the system to shut down. So I decided to connect my wet vac and drain the line. It took about 30 seconds. And sure enough, it was full, so it did need to be drained. So I went to the breaker, turned on the system, now reset the system, and started making a funny sound. So I decided to take a closer look. Now if your AC air handler is in the attic, I highly suggest calling a professional AC tech. Now if you open up your air handler and you see a red LED shining, you want to turn off the air handler circuit breaker switch. All right, and that light should turn off. Now we're going to go ahead and open up the panel. Sometimes there is a kill switch when you open up the panel, it turns off the high voltage. I got some professional advice from an AC tech, and he said to check the outside fan. If the outside fan is working, then that capacitor most likely is good. Then check the AC handler. If the AC handler is not working, then check the capacitor that's connected to the blower. And that's what I'm doing right here. Now, when handling the capacitor, it can shock you. So you wanna discharge the capacitor and make sure you have an insulator, like rubber gloves and rubber handles on whatever you're using to discharge the capacitor. And I'm using my fluke meter and checking out the capacitance in the capacitor. It should read 7.5 and it does, it reads 7.5. So this actually is a good capacitor. Regardless, I still ordered a new capacitor on Amazon. It's only $15 and the capacitors last around 15 years and my unit is 18 years old. So most likely it would eventually need a new capacitor anyway. So I'm gonna disconnect the wires to the blower on the circuit board. And I did take a picture for a reference and I'm gonna remove the blower and try to get the part number off the blower and order the blower, the motor basically. I ordered the motor from Amazon using the part number. And I'm pretty confident it is the motor because of the sound, the sound's coming from the motor and the smell is coming from the motor. Using eight millimeter. I'm using a pretty big wrench to loosen the nut because it's on there quite tight. It's a 10 millimeter socket I'm using to remove the motor. Right here, I'm removing the ground wire. The new motor comes with the ground wire and I'm using WD-40 so I can easily slip out the motor. Now sometimes you may have to bang on the other end and it should slip right out. Part number is right here. And since you have everything apart, you wanna clean out the wheel. Make sure all the dust is cleaned out. And now, it's time to install the new motor. Now make sure you confirm the part number is the same and all the wires are the same colors and make sure you have the connectors on the ends of the wire. All the wires are there. 
All right. Let's go ahead and do it. All right, so it's numbered right here, number one. You want the wires facing the capacitor. So let's go ahead and slide it in. And you have to slide it right in that middle. Make sure this is all lined up evenly. Okay, and the capacitor mounts right here. wedge something under here so it doesn't go all the way down because if it goes all the way down and you screw it in it's going to sound like that in your AC unit let's go ahead and lift it up a little bit but you don't want to lift it up too much and then it'll scratch this side so let's go ahead and I'm gonna wedge this under here and let's tighten that bolt and you want a pretty big crescent wrench. All right. And let's go ahead and spin it. Sounds good, doesn't look wobbly. And the blades are clean. Before installing the blower, make sure you clean out the inside. You can see how clean the duct got after I cleaned it. Very nice and healthy. So you want to make sure you got it on both sides. Looks like I missed that side, see? It's not under the lip. And that's going to cause issues when it turns on. And then you put the screws in afterwards, so I'm going to have to take this back out. See how it's crooked? I forgot to connect the ground wire, which connects uh, on here. These are quarter inch. I can't imagine anyone doing this in the attic. If your AC handler is in the attic, hire someone. Here's the new capacitor here. Picture of it. Once you double check your work and connections, go ahead and turn on the circuit breaker switched. Closing the kill switch should activate the blower. Sometimes you may have to turn on the thermostat manually. Yeah. So here. It works! Yay!
Guys, give me a big thumbs up. This was my first AC repair. Click on the share button below and share this video to anyone this may help. And subscribe and hit that bell notification to stay updated on the latest tech videos. And if you guys are interested in where I got the motor, it's basically Amazon. But I'm not sure if that's going to match your system. I'm adding a quarter cup of distilled vinegar to prevent clogs in the drain line. It's running smooth so far. See how long it lasts. It is 20 years old, so who knows.